Hi, just a quick single take video follow up on the TS80 soldering iron because I got a lot of comments on this one and a lot of people wanted to try, uh, wanted me to try it with a quick charge 3 um, power bank. And it turns out that I do actually have one. I completely forgot that I had this. I uh, forgot that it was actually quick, quick charge 3 uh, compatible. So we can give this a go and. Uh, um, uh, a lot of the comments said, well, what's the point in this? It's not portable because you need the power adapter. Um, sorry, but these power banks are a dime a dozen and everyone that I know carries one. Um, really, it's you, you just need Quick Charge 3 uh, compatible. They're not hard or expensive to get at all, nor are they big. This is a big uh, 10,000 milliamp hour job, um, but you know, so you don't need one this big to actually use uh, with your TS-80 soldering iron, which is a, quite a very portable solution. I like it. So uh, for all those people who said that uh, the, like, you know, the TS-100 is far superior, because it's, you know, <laughs> they made the argument, um, quite a few people made the argument that the TS-100 um, was better because you could hook it up to a LiPo pack, you know, just carry a LiPo pack with you, or hook it up to a car battery. Um, yeah, okay, if you're working on car electric stuff and you want to open your boot and you want to carry the big crocodile clips around to hook it up to the your car battery, knock yourself out. Or if you're working on, uh, granted, if you're working on uh, remote control, you know, RC um, planes and quadcopters and all sorts of things, then uh, uh, by all means, you know, you're probably carrying around lipo packs and stuff like that. So the more powerful TS-100 um, might be the go for you. But um, it, a lot of people said this thing was useless. I, sorry, but I do not agree. As somebody who carries a power bank with them in my bag at all times, everywhere I go, just in case I don't uh, carry this one this big and this heavy, but I might now that it's um, the quick charge one, which I didn't realize, um, then I uh, I think it's just, it, it's much more convenient. This thing does the business. It's not plastic. The build quality is awesome. It's all metal. It's fantastic. It has more than enough power for almost any general use, but hey, if you need more power, I agree, the TS-100 is better. So I think the design and build quality is better than the TS-100, and I'm gonna be carrying around the battery bank anyway. I'm gonna be carrying around the uh, USB cable, so this thing does the does is by far a better solution, in my opinion, for that general use case. But as always, your mileage may vary. It's not for everyone. I totally agree. So a lot of people, uh, well, I totally agree that it's, you know, it's with myself that, um, you know, your mileage, whoop, uh, your mileage may vary. Oh, by the way, another question is, where did I get this little uh, power meter from? Well, um, it's from Ruding Co. It's the same company on AliExpress who sell those uh, power, those power supply modules that I've actually done. Um, I might have to uh, link it in down below. And uh, this one actually does have uh, USB as well, uh, sorry, it's got uh, Bluetooth as well, but I could never get that uh, working. Anyway, it's got Type C um, as as well as uh, USB, and uh, it's it's very nice bit of kit. I highly recommend. It's cheap. By the way, I just got in another somebody, another company. I can't remember their name. Sent another one which is almost identical to this, but in a, a nicer like metal type chassis. Maybe I'll have like a mini shootout between these two. But anyway, it does graphs, which I didn't show and all sorts of stuff. It's really good. Highly recommended. So let's, uh, there it is, Ruding. The Ruding, um, anyway, if you search for AliExpress for uh, AliExpress for Ruding, anyway, those power supply modules, that's the go. Anyway, let's, uh, let's power this thing up. People wanted to see it working from a battery bank. And fair enough. I have not tried this yet. There it is. Ta-da! And let's heat her up. Heat in. There we go. Ta-da! I've still got it set to that um, higher power mode, and I'll talk about that in a... Uh, well, actually, I'll talk about it now while it's heating up. Um, a lot of people said, oh, you can use it for 5 volts. Dave, you completely missed the, um, you know, just set it to a lower voltage. No, you can't do that. Um, that 
th- and that uh, setting in here, what was it? Uh, set, uh, where is it? Uh, sleep time, no. The power, that one only goes down to 16. You can't take it down to 5. Somebody asked that. Um, and also this off voltage, you can't do anything with that. Well, you can only take it down to 10 volts. It's not like you can take it down to 5. So sorry for those who th- um, think thought I was wrong, and it does. I may still be wrong. Maybe there is some way to power it from a 5 volt thing, but I have not found it yet. It seems to be a firmware limitation. So anyway, maybe they'll fix that. But here you go. Whoop. Oh, it turned off, did it? Hang on. Do I have to... Oh, bloody hell. Hang on. There we go. Go back. There we go. Come on. Power up. Twiddle your thumbs. Yes, the TS100 is supposedly a faster uh, heat time, so if that's important to you, but it's not important to me. And there you go. No wackers. Look at that. 20 odd watts coming from that pack. Not a problem whatsoever. So there you go. Um, I <laughs> hope you are now convinced that you can use this portable and you can get a smaller version of the battery bank than this. And uh, for me, it carries one every day. As I said, it's very convenient. Another thing, a lot of people said, oh, I completely missed this. It's a credit card. You put it in your wallet. Um, maybe when you first get it, but it's got this like horrible springy steel and it doesn't really go back in there try putting that back in your wallet this is going to like force itself out and then try you know doing that a few times and it's probably just going to snap on you so it's sorry but i'm not buying that that is a credit card um stand i I think it's just a shit stand (laughs) sorry um and for those who where is it For those who think that I completely missed the manual out of the box, unless I... I don't think it was there. This is not the manual. It is just a... um, It's just a quick... a, A cheat sheet. It is not a manual. I did not throw... As far as I'm aware, I did not throw the manual away. So, uh, for the people who, uh, mentioned that, sorry. Um, I don't... I genuinely don't think it came with the manual. Um, but once again, stand to be corrected. Anyway, there you go. That's the um, just a little update on the TS80. So it's n- not for everyone, but if you already carry a quick charge compatible battery bank, then I think it's it's well like it's pr- it's got to be the best solution unless there's another one um, out there which is you know such nice design and build quality with the uh, thermal decent thermal performance of this one sorry i'm not convinced no way i'm going to carry around a ts100 that requires hooking up to a separate lipo battery pack why would i carry a lipo battery pack around which to me is totally useless for anything else except the soldering line when i can carry this around which powers a whole bunch of other um stuff you know i can recharge my phone it can recharge my camera it can recharge whatever gadget i've got available and can now run a soldering iron (laughs) sorry no contest but Your mileage may vary. Catch you next time.